Alright guys, so it's pretty crazy that after months of speculating about the Model 3s, we're finally getting to see it here in its flesh. And if you guys haven't already watched my previous video about the Model 3 leak and the spy shot, please check that out. I'll drop a link in the description below as well as a link right up top there. Now in that video, you guys know how excited I was as soon as I saw an updated front end. That is what I've been asking for for a very long time. And finally, Tesla is listening listening and finally it's here. Now before we begin this video here, I do just want to put it out there that I did run a community poll and it was a mixed feeling between everyone. Now I did notice how a bunch of you guys do prefer the old design over the new one just because of how iconic it is and how it makes it stand out over every other vehicle. Now even though I personally like the new design, it doesn't change the fact that the old design is really nice up until this point. It really has kept its modern feel, however it's been 5 years now and I do really think that it's time to have something new. And then there's the rest of you guys that do really love the new design just like I do and I do think that this is something that they're probably going to be working on refining a little bit so we're not completely sure if this is going to make its way into production. Now one thing I do hope is that Tesla will come out with a design that will cater towards both sides of the spectrum and maybe just maybe in the future they might come out with something like a hatchback or a coupe back version of the Model 3. Alright so enough of that let's jump on into the sweet stuff here and some of the things that I've noticed throughout the hours after I posted the previous video. Now with all this going on we just got confirmation directly from Tesla scope which did get another confirmation from an employee within Tesla confirming that there is going to be a really big change for the Model 3 and the headlight is going to be redesigned completely. Now I typically would take this with a grain of salt however this is Tesla scope and it seems like this Twitter page does have have some kind of internal connection uh, with Tesla employees. It seems like the communication between Tesla scope and this employee is through text messages and it shows that this is going to come out a version similar to a Porsche design. Now in a way it seems a little bit conflicting because the current Model 3 design with this headlight is sort of Porsche-esque already. So the newer one doesn't really look like that. That's just my personal opinion. I did compare this to an Audi R8 in my previous video. Let me know if I'm even close to that or is there any other vehicle that's similar to its design. Now there is one other thing that Tesla Scope tweeted out which I'm really hesitant to say on this channel just because it really doesn't make sense but I'll just take it with a grain of salt and you guys should as well and that is the fact that the Model 3 is going to have roughly 750 mile charges. Now how this is going to happen is that it's going to be relying on the 4680 structural pack in the current Model Ys. How However, it's going to be used in a larger way. Now, if this is true, it would totally be insane, but it would also completely destroy the sales of the Model S and Model Xs. So really, I do have my doubts there. However, I'm just going to have my fingers crossed and if that vehicle does come into production, it's totally going to destroy every other EV on the market. Alright, so let's talk about the current design here and what the biggest changes is going to be going between the one that you guys are seeing on the roads today versus the one that you're going to see in a couple months down the line. So first things first, we're going to be seeing a whole front end design change and we're probably going to be seeing a rear end design change as well. But so far the uncovering only shows that we're going to be getting a revamped headlight, revamped bumper and revamped hood. And there are some other signs of the fenders and the interior changes which we'll talk about in a little bit here. Now if you guys were to ask me if the current design is a timeless design vehicle like maybe the RS5 or maybe the the Lexus LFA, I would definitely say it is not. It is a good looking vehicle, however, it's just not one of those vehicles that can last a decade and still look just as good as it was when it first launched. If you guys want to talk about a timeless design in terms of EVs, I do think the Model S is one of those vehicles that look fantastic then and it still does now. So really, this is the perfect time to be switching from that design to this new design. Alright, now moving on to the interior and we have some pretty interesting stuff that just came out in the last couple hours here, but let's just quickly talk about what we know so far with the current and the new design. Now if we compare the Model 3 current design to similars of the Model S and X back in the days, we will notice that it was a drastic
drastic, drastic change. You were moving from vertical displays to a horizontal display. You were going from traditional to modern elements of the vehicle overall. So that step alone was enormous and it pushed a lot of people away from the luxury segments of the Tesla vehicle down to the premium economy like the Model 3s and Ys. The change was substantial enough that made you feel like you were in a totally different vehicle in the future. Although it's not gonna be the biggest design change from the current Model 3 interior to the new one, we are gonna get sort of a subtle change, maybe a couple elements here and there that would make the luxury feel of this vehicle come out. So one thing's for sure, if you guys just worried about the interior design changes, I'm not gonna say that the new one is enough of a change to make you switch from the old design. Now, here's the interesting thing. Somebody somewhere in China just posted up an image on Twitter showing us that we're getting quite a substantial change from the current to the new Project Highland Model 3. This is one of the things I really highly doubt as well, just because it's getting more in the lines of the luxury segments, and we're seeing this only in the Model S and X's. From the picture, it shows that we are getting the instrument cluster for the Model 3 as well as a yoke and a larger display. Now, a lot of you guys are probably just going to say that this is the interior of the Model S. However, if you guys take a look at some of the dimensions and the size, it is definitely not the Model S. But if somehow this is magically true, we are going to get one of the best looking Model 3s in the world or in every single sedan segment there is. All right, now let's go on to the exterior here of the current design. Now the exterior wasn't that bad. However, I did complain about minor things here and there that might not even be that critical to other people. But the positive is they went away from the fake grille and now they just have a purely flush front bumper. The trunk area and the tail light looks pretty nice with the diffused LED lights, which the Model S has just recently got. So there's quite a bit of good things that I'm not gonna be able to list all in this video here, but there was quite a few things that you would want to switch from even the luxury segment over to the Model 3. But there was also quite a few gripes I had with the Model 3 and that also moved on to the Model Ys. This included the fact that the vehicle interior didn't have a heads-up display or an instrument cluster. It also included the fact that the headlights were not that bright. And then the fact that the overall design aesthetics of it, it wasn't my taste. Like I told you, my favorite car is the Audi RS5 and it looks so much more aggressive being an older vehicle compared to the Model 3. I really dislike the headlights for my own personal reasons and you you guys might like it for other reasons. And then one other thing is that the rims other than the performance one just doesn't look that good with the hubcaps. Hopefully they can change up the hubcaps to look a little bit more aggressive rather than ones that are painted silver. But overall with all the complaints that I'm giving you guys, it's still a fantastic vehicle and it's still really great if you guys can get a discount now when Tesla is slowly dropping the price while they're anticipating the new vehicle launch. But the thing here now is that they are going to this new redesigned Model 3 which you guys have seen in the previous video and you guys are probably gonna see it right here right now. It looks fantastic and there has been a lot of mock-up designs of what it would look like in different colors. Personally, this is a vehicle that I can say I would drive downtown and people would turn heads for rather than the previous design that is just a little bit bulky, a little bit roundish. It looks like a little stubby kid to be honest. This one here looks really familiar to vehicles like the Roadster or a performance supercar. Not saying that the sedan should really look like that, but if you compared it to, let's say, an M4 from BMW or an AMG C63, it just falls more in line with those performance vehicles. Now, I can't really tell what the daytime running looks like, but I think it looks something like this, and it looks pretty nice. Compared to the little eyebrow strip that we currently have on the vehicle, I think that doesn't look really good. Most of the time when the headlights are on and the eyebrow strips are on at night, it kind of meshes together and it doesn't have that distinct lighting that we typically would see in other vehicles. So I think I'm just very critical with the headlight portion of it and this is where this redesigned Model 3 really hits that spot. Now I know this is just leaks and this is just an uncovering that somebody somehow took a picture of inside of a garage and you guys might not believe it but we definitely do have some kind of confirmation making it a little bit true. There was another sighting recently and there was a vehicle being covered up, the Project Highland test vehicles, driving right by and just from looking at parts of the fender and the door, you'll notice that it is very comparable to the vehicle that we've seen in the garage that was uncovered. The fender housing and the body line now goes directly into the door panel versus before where it sticks solely on the fender. So I guess this does give some kind of credibility, some kind of proof that these 
these vehicles that they're driving on the roads is something that we're also seeing inside of these leaked images. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is just a summary of all the information I have as of now. I'll definitely be keeping you guys up to date as soon as I get any more information. I would expect this to be a very slow ramp because they have stopped the long range Model 3 production line. They're going to be using that line to push out these vehicles. Most likely, they're still going to be continuing to sell the current vehicle design at a discount. So if you guys are one of the ones that don't really care and don't really like the new designs, this is the perfect timing for you guys to grab onto this one. So anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And also follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where I'll keep you guys up to date even quicker than here on YouTube. But this is it for this one. This should wrap it up once again. Peace out.